Okay, so sorry guys, my room is a total mess. But just setting up this little YouTube video for you. Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate channel for students. My name is Francesca and today I hope to help you have the best fresh start at university. I recently had a message on my Facebook page. This is the first request ever that I get on my Facebook page because my Facebook page is dead because I haven't started posting. I'm going to post in September 2017. <laughs> That's why I'm going to start posting. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The person asked, Francesca, what about making a video about relationships going into uni? Because a lot of new freshers will already have a boyfriend and girlfriend and want to do a long distance. So it would be nice to get your advice. <sighs> From my general observations of people coming into university with a boyfriend and girlfriend It didn't really end well Before we start like being upset by what I just said Okay, there is a possibility to kind of turn things around here, okay? I do have some sort of solution University is a time to experiment, to discover yourself to discover more about what you like. I hate to break this to you, but at the age of 18, very, 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 very few people actually know what they like. This is just the start of a discovery, of a journey of creating your whole spectrum of emotions, of personality and whatnot. It's very important for you to understand that whatever you do, whatever you decide, you need to keep understanding more and learning more about yourself. Like that's so, crucial it's up to you to understand to see how much you want to discover about yourself but it's by trying new things whether it's society or meeting new people or hanging out with different groups of people that you will really get out of that mold that you thought you were and actually expand to this beautiful being and really like eclore in this beautiful chino okay that was three languages in one basically just blossom so many beauties about yourself because you need just this concentrated bubble of people just going through the same phase of life i think that having a boyfriend or a girlfriend while you're going to while you're about to enter that roller coaster it kind of def defeats the purpose of discovering yourself in university. If you manage to find a balance between discovering yourself, creating yourself and having a boyfriend on the side, of course go for it. I'm not saying don't do it, okay? I've personally seen a lot of people who have been in relationships when they came to university I and did not really go out and did not really give their whole self to discovering and meeting new people and all that stuff. That first term of university is really it's really that time where people go crazy way and my fear for those who are going to come to university with a boyfriend and girlfriend is that you're going to close yourself to all the opportunities that you have to meet new people my answer would be this there are different types of categories of couples right now who are about to go to university the hesitant there's a hesitant couple you are a hesitant couple if one of you as a minimum if minimum one of you is hesitating about this whole uni business and shall i stay with you or not you see if one of you is hesitant about staying with the other person while going at university, that's a clear signal that you should break up, okay? And please listen until the end because I do have something to alleviate this whole thing, okay? It's very complicated. It's not as easy as saying break up, not break up. There's like some things in the middle I want to say at the end. So stay in the end. Break up because there's hesitation. And from the moment there's hesitation, they will probably be regret after and the last thing you want to do is regret your youth or your experiences in university and i'll tell you how but first i want to go to the other category if you're both of you super in love like super like mad about each other like oh my like if you guys are crazy about each other take a break so if you really 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 think that you guys are the love of each other's life okay if you really think that then yes you could try for a few for the first month of university to stay together for the first few weeks although i really don't recommend that if you're already in a distance relationship before you go to university this does not apply to you you guys are already used to this i guess the situation is really much more complicated than this so i'm not speaking about your category since my overall answer would be break up now i'm gonna say how to break up okay because like this is where everyone gets it wrong 
why do I say that you guys should break up is because more than anything else you should prioritize your friendship this is crucial so a lot of people who decide to break up they see it black and white they're like either we stay together and then it's going to be kind of painful but we love each other so it's going to be fine or we break up and it's going to be super sad and super horrible and I'm just going to cry and eat ice cream for the rest of my life. No, it doesn't have to be this way. What I advise you to do when you break up is to first of all be real with each other. Tell me right now what's in your mind. I'll be 100% transparent, you be 100% transparent. And if you guys are, as you said, I'm actually saying what you really think, then I advise you to like write write it down and then when you guys are both finished you read it to each other okay but you mustn't blame the other person for being honest remember you want honesty case scenario my name is bonnie and i'm with my boyfriend tommy bonnie has just watched francesca's youtube video and although she was completely convinced that she was in love with him and tommy was in love with her she still feels that something's wrong and she wants to be completely 100 percent sure about what's going so what does bonnie does she decides to sit down this is what she's going to say hey tommy i just wanted to sit down because this university thing is really something that's quite heavy on my chest and i think that we really need to seriously talk about this I love you and I know you love me but it's because we love each other that I think we should be a hundred percent honest I want to give you and myself the opportunity to really express what really 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 deep down we feel and I want you to know that I will not judge you I will not judge your answer I will not be angry and I'll not be sad maybe I will be sad but it will be against myself I won't hold what you tell me against you I want you to be as transparent with yourself and like let's unbox these worries and i'll do the same if you see that tommy is very shaky and he does not know how to react say and i wanted to do it under the form of a of, a, of writing so i'm here's a pen here's a piece of paper and i want you to write down what you really feel about this university this is because i want our friendship to survive more than anything so you give him a piece of paper, you take the piece of paper, you both write it and you're just writing stuff like I'm really in love with you, I can't see myself with anyone else in life, I, I just can't imagine myself with another guy, you are the one for me, I know we're meant to be each other. Although you said all those things to Tommy, you still are expecting the same from him. Like you are thinking he's going to write the same thing. M whether, whether you accept that thought or not, you know that that's what you're hoping, you want the same thing. But then the horrible things happen. You read Tommy's and, and letter and he says, I'm glad that you took this up because I don't know how to tell you. Uh, I don't know how to tell myself. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm lost. I love you and I want to stay with you. But at the same time, I feel the university is a one-time experience and I don't really know how, how, how to deal with this. Like, I want to stay with you, but at the same time, I feel that this is a period where I should actually like let go and like let loose and all that stuff. I don't know how you will take this, I don't want to hurt your feelings, you're everything to me, you're so important, but I really think this is important for me to actually do this. And so that hits you right here, right? It's important when you read that, if you ever read that, I really hope you won't, but if you do, at least he is honest. You want honesty, you want transparency, if there's no transparency, if there's no communication in a couple, you will never be a couple anyway, you will break up for something else. So. If he does pause his soul out, if it's, it's very hard for a guy as well to admit these things because they don't want to hurt you. You can decide then negotiations open. Either you decide you have one term off where you just do exactly what you want and if it's too hard after one term you get back together but not before. Give yourself at least three or four months where you fiddle around because the first few weeks maybe one of you will say no i want to get back no the rule is one term and after the exams of uh january only after that you will decide if you're going to be together or not or at christmas time whenever or if you think if tommy's really like sorry i i really want to be single for a while now like for a few years then you have to break up like you'll find another guy he's not meant for you you see i believe that there are signs that the universe gives us or what god gives us whatever you are christian buddhist uh muslim whatever you are there's a sign that what whoever you believe in is giving you and is saying i know that you love him right now 
but I'm trying my best to tell you that he's not the one. I'm trying to push in the direction of the guy who is made for you. And it's up to you to be smart enough to kind of like distance yourself with reality and think, actually, yeah, I have to listen to this sign and whatever. So if the guy really doesn't want to like do this term and negotiate and says like, no, I really want a whole year to myself, then that's it. He, he said what he wanted and it's sad and everything, but as long as you can serve friendship, like of course, like, you need a bit of distance after a breakup. Always distance yourself. Don't think that you can be BFF straight away. You will need a few months. Eventually, he and you are going to reconnect together and you're going to be friends. All right, let's recap. I was just editing this video and I realized that, I mean, I had so many ideas that I was kind of all over the place. And I think it's very important to just like give you some clear answers because this is a very important decision that you will have to make. So we went through why university is important and why it is important to discover yourself, right? Then we said um, my general view of what I saw when people came to university. They usually break up and they usually break up in bad spirits since they saw other people flirting with each other and whatever. Because of that reason, they got angry with each other within the couple and it ended up badly to the point where their friendship was deeply, uh, profoundly hurt and destroyed and that is why I really did pour the emphasis in the video that friendship is absolutely crucial here and that is the priority that you want to do. You, you have lived some beautiful moments with your boyfriend and girlfriend and the last thing you want is to like end up hating each other like what's the point in that which brings me to my answer what should you do my general rule would be to break up but obviously that's so much easier said than done and I 100% get that that's why I did different cases and scenarios but I realized by editing that I was not that clear number one the couple who's hesitant. Number two, the couple who's madly in love. Number three, the couple who uh, is in a distant relationship and really like each other. I'm sorry, but for that couple who is in a distant relationship prior to go to university, this video is not for you as that's a very complicated situation. Maybe I'll do a video about you guys, but it will have to be in another one. And I'm going to focus on the first two. So for the hesitant couple, you sit down, you figure out if you're a hesitant couple or not. Maybe you know it already, maybe you don't. Once you realize that one of the couple, both of you, are hesitating about this whole uh, relationship thing in university, that's when you start like thinking about in solutions. And the solution is A, you break up for, for good. B, you decide to like uh, stay together for a month, see how it goes and then take it from there. I really do not recommend that because jealousy takes the worst out of a person. So if you do that, there's a big risk that you guys will break up in a really bad and vicious way. So that's why I would not do that. But again, it's your decision. And the third way to do it, which is what I would do if I was in your shoes, it would be to say first term, we're not together, we're entitled to do whatever we want. And then in January or in December when you go back for Christmas, that's when you guys really think about what you've gone through. You talk about it, you talk how you feel and you talk if you want, if you think it's a good idea to keep doing it this way or to go back together. So that's up to you guys, but I would definitely take the first term off if I was you. So that is for the hesitant couple and for the category of the of the loving couple, of the couple who is completely madly in love. So you've done the test, one of you guys has done the hesitant test with the other. You realize that you're both on the same page, so you both are madly in love with each other and you can't see yourself with anyone else. Okay, so what I would do in that situation, I would be like, well, if you really feel that way, that you are madly in love and you would not do anything with anyone else, then yeah, you should take that month to just see how you guys feel about the other person being in another city, in another uni, see how it goes, and don't play stupid games, don't start making the other person jealous, it's horrible. Worst case scenario, you take a break, just say, I really love you, but I feel that this distance thing is too hard and we're gonna end up hating each other, so you can decide after a month, maybe we should just take a break and see how it goes, you know? The most important part in all this, whatever you guys decide, I think that the main message I have here for you guys is that being respectful of each other's feelings, these are things that are the most important because you have been going through some really good moments with your boyfriend and girlfriend 
and it would be such a shame to throw that in the bin just because you didn't know how to handle this crazy situation of moving away and obviously if you do break up you will need a few months to just like okay but eventually the friendship will be still there because you both respected each other and you will always be grateful for what the other person brought to your life try your best i gave you a scenario just in case you need inspiration do whatever you want to do with this video i hope it helped a bit and uh yeah so i'm gonna go now because i've been talking i think this is gonna be a 20 minute video honestly this is so bad let me know if you have any questions obviously there's a lot of opinions if you don't agree with me it's a hundred percent normal i'm just trying to give you the best advice that i can i'll always be there for you guys thank you very much for watching bye guys i'm trying to put you in the worst mood uh, p1 cleaner than your church shoes